you'll hear us now. Haha, <laughs> yeah, so, sorry about that. We've been um, deluged in uh, tech problems today. Uh, I won't lie to you, we were trying to use um, a software package to broadcast into the Facebook private group, and it all went so terribly, terribly wrong. Thank you very much, Jules. And, uh, yeah, so... We're here now, uh, and that's that, that, that's the main thing. Um, I'm going to try and uh, switch off these Viber. There it goes. And WhatsApp, so you don't keep hearing those noises. Hopefully. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's it's been an absolute nightmare, and we had plans to do so much today. We're going to have to postpone it, but we will put. Um, uh, an event notification on the Facebook page. It seems that we can have broadcasting into our Facebook page. <clears throat> we have 650 of you guys now, which is really, really something else from all over the world. Jules, who's commenting at the moment, is watching from Australia. If anybody else is picking this up, just um, drop us a line from where you are. That would be really, really nice. But um, yeah, so we're going to focus on the Facebook page now. I had thought that the group would be a much more intimate way to like do Facebook lives but the technology is just beating us uh, using uh, the Mac OS and the desktop system um, to go straight in to Facebook is uh, like a real pain Martin Gannon thanks a lot mate this obviously is the way to do it uh, using the Facebook page. It seems to be much more simpler for us uh, to set up. Um, and we'll be using WhatsApp as well. Um, my sister's been chatting to me on, uh, on WhatsApp at the moment. If anybody is WhatsAppable, um, here's our WhatsApp um, number, I think we should be able to do this no. ah there we are so that's our whatsapp number so if you are a whatsapp sort of person you can use that number hope you can see it it's uh, plus three eight seven six 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 five seven nine one six mark uh how you doing mate um so you can either comment here um which is working brilliantly. Thank you. Um, or you can WhatsApp us as well, and I can, or when Tam's here, we can reply uh, using that. There were quite a few things to talk about. Uh, we'll most probably do it next Sunday now and give us give ourselves a week. It's a busy week. Um, I'm working now with the tourism rep uh, tourism organisation for this part of Bosnia. So we're doing some voiceovers for some videos that they're creating. That's quite exciting, actually. Um, and the special thing about these videos is that they're virtual reality. So the team that are putting it together, absolutely first class. When I saw what they were doing, it's quite scary, actually. I've never been much into VR, but to sit in a room with, you know, those goggles on and be able to look around and see what is going on is... Uh, quite something else. So there's videos from a number of places in Bosnia Herzegovina professionally being put together in virtual reality. They will go. <clears throat> oh, Mike's in Hast Mark's in Hastings at the moment. 1066 country. Yeah, last time we got invaded, mate. Make sure there's no more cheeky French people coming across while you're there. But now to go back to the virtual reality, um, those videos I believe will be put on a channel on Facebook at some time in the future uh, and I'm sure they're gonna let us put them onto our Facebook page here but it's a great way to see the country and uh, I'm doing the voiceovers for that together with um, Tam's niece Victoria so that's been taking up a lot of our time this week as we've been trying to uh, have the voices accepted by the tourism organization um, which is good and um, we're gonna try and get an English copy of this so that we can most probably scan it and get it to you but these are the sort of things that the guys that are making the videos get up to they get into these gyrocopters 
um, and fly around. Next Saturday, uh, I'm going to be cooking. And uh, cooking, yes. Uh, we've been invited to attend um, a workshop. I think it's a workshop or just an event. I don't know. Anyway, it's from 11 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon in the local city of Banja Luka. Um, and I'm going to be cooking together with four other international people that are in this area, as far as I believe, and a number of local people that are all going to come together to cook some traditional dishes. I think there are five of them. Um, and I'm looking forward to learning how to do that. And hopefully um, Tamara will be able to take some video or we'll get some video taken there and to make a podcast as well because I'm really getting into the podcast now and I think podcasting is another good way to find out about Bosnia and Herzegovina. So how long have we been on air at the moment? Ten and a half minutes and people obviously are able to see. Sorry about the sun, we will deal with that um, for the time we do the next uh, broadcast. Um, and if you are a Martin, it's very, very, very uh, exciting. Um, I think we're going to make Banja Luka schnitzel. We're going to do something from Croatia. I think there's a dessert as well. Um, I know the chef that's going to be training us. He's the top TV chef uh, in this part of the country. So, yeah, it's going to be something else. And with these virtual reality videos, that is also um, exciting. Lots of other mini projects coming on. Um, I don't know what it's like wherever you are in the world, but here it's just like mental. Uh, it's February, yeah, February the 13th, Valentine's Day tomorrow. And uh, it's sunny, it's warm, 14, 15 Celsius. Um, I haven't seen any buds coming out yet, but if they do, that bears ill for the area because I'm sure then we'll get a cold snap and all the blossoms will die off again like they did in the last couple of years which has a serious knock-on effect for Tam's father as he makes uh, rakia. Well at least we managed to broadcast something today. Um, if you are watching um, and you find this on the feed and you have any questions that you want us to answer or ask us rather about Bosnia and Herzegovina do put those questions uh, in the comments below this or you can send them to our WhatsApp number and I'll put that back on the screen for you. And next weekend, I'll commit to it now. Um, if something comes in the way, of course, just keep checking back here. Um, at about three o'clock, uh, we'll start answering those questions and whatever you'd like to ask us when you log on. But I think the quality of the streaming is now OK. Oh. What do you think of the beard? I gave it to myself as a birthday present last week. There you go. Um, I don't know. I think it makes me look a lot more distinguished. You'll let me know, right? So things seem to have finally panned out, although it wasn't uh, as we had initially felt. Um, I almost probably put this now on the Facebook group. Uh, as a catch-up video. Tam's cooking at the moment. She's. We went out today and I got her a couple of gifts for Valentine's Day tomorrow. And uh, <laughs> Father Christmas. You are outrageously cheeky there in Kent, my dear chap. So thank you for logging in from Kent in England, from Sussex uh, in England and in Sydney, Australia today. Uh, my confidence is back that we we can do this so we'll see you um on sunday uh, by the way can you hear the music martin that's underneath uh the voice if so is it too loud or too soft and does it help with the ambience the ambience uh, of the broadcast what else is there to say oh yeah um, on the uh, on our website um, next week, we'll be we're selling this book. This is the uh, local edition in um, Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian. Okay, but there is an English edition to this. 
It's the 50 top locations to visit in Bosnia-Herzegovina. It's uh, got lots of uh, pictures of and history and everything about great places to visit. Um, Zoran Matic is the guy that uh, produced this and he's selling it on our website. So when you go to living in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Dot com that's all one word living in Bosnia and that's the uh, you will get a pop-up uh, and that will take you to a page on a shop that we've just launched um, and you can buy his book all the money goes to him uh, and it's in PDF format so you can download it and it's in English it would certainly help him um, so we'll be talking more about this next week I think he has another book coming up soon and also um, we'll be putting a few local souvenirs and products up hello Rebecca thank you very much and join us see the United States there as well so yeah Rebecca there's a just I don't know if you missed it check this out on our um, website um, as I say we'll be talking more about this next week um, I'm going to be promoting a few books that lo uh, local people have been creating. This is the first one. I personally like this very much. We do have the English version anyway. Um, Martin saying rugby here. England 14, Italy nil. That's it. By the way, uh, yeah, so I'm running ahead of myself. Uh, and we're also going to be putting on um, uh, our website some souvenirs, so things. Um, this in particular I like this is a gift I got but um, the person that made this will be selling this as well uh, this is hand embroidered and this is the Smyanya design which is very traditional I'm going to be creating a podcast about that uh, very soon but uh, this is very very traditional it's been happening or the ladies have been making um, hand embroidered um, articles based on this traditional design um, from the area just outside Banja Luka. It's a mountainous area called Manyacha. Um, things like this will be on sale um, and much, 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 much more, which I hope that you'll, um, you'll enjoy finding out about and um, buy as well. The prices are very, very, uh, competitive I wanted to say cheap but that's wrong right very competitive um, the only thing that might cost a little bit is the postage because yeah we have to get it uh, the physical items from the person that makes it who will be the person that will post it off um, but payment can be done uh, online but you'll find out more about that um, in the coming week or so as I put that together so uh, <laughs> Rebecca likes a Dubioza collective t-shirt. There. You are. The dubious collective, I think, is the best way to uh, uh, translate that. What else is there to say? Yes, if you do go to the website as well, um, one of the latest blog posts is about World Radio Day. It is, um, it is today, the 13th of February, World Radio Day, and I... Uh, had a chat with a friend, an old colleague of mine in Canada. He interviewed me for his uh, online radio station and we've packaged that up into a podcast. There is something about Bosnia and Herzegovina in that, so you might want to give that um, a listen. Right, thank you very much for joining us from across the world. That's, uh, as I say, my confidence is now a lot higher because I was pretty down in the dumps when um, the broadcast didn't work on the Facebook group but um, the, the Facebook group is still going to be there we're not getting rid of it or anything but it looks like uh, we'll just move um, our main broadcast platform here on the Facebook page and then when it's finished uh, we can move it uh, onto the Facebook group uh, so if you do see this um, on the private group you can still Ask questions and uh, next Sunday at three o'clock, 1500 CET, we can actually kick it off uh, properly. And who knows, I might even get this transferred onto YouTube. Lots to think about. Right, it is Sunday. It's half past four. 
So we've been broadcasting for about 20 minutes. Thank you so, so much um, for letting me interfere with your Sunday, Sunday evening, Sunday morning, uh, or Sunday afternoon. And uh, I'll catch you uh, here at uh, 1500 CET, Central European Time, next Sunday. Uh, and we'll put um, an event notification out on Facebook, both the group and the page, so you can be here. Uh, I'll, I will and I'll always try to share videos about Bosnia from your group and YouTube channel. Okay, um, and Rebecca, please, please, please post more. If, if You can post on the group as long as it's something to do with Bosnia. Bye, Jules. Sleep well. Have a great Sunday, Rebecca. To Mark and Martin in the UK, um, stay safe. And uh, I hope there's no wind and rain where you guys are. And Tam will be here with me next um, next week. Bye for now.